God, I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to go. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. What is up, everyone out there at YouTube? It is Tim.TV here, and today I am bringing you guys some more Arizona sunshine. Today we are going to be finishing the rest of the beta preview that Vertigo has provided me. Once again, thank you guys so much. This game is awesome, and I can't wait until it comes out. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, make sure to go check that out. A card will show up on screen now, and there will also be a link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. It was super cool. I had a great time doing it, and I'm really excited to just hop right back into the game. So without further ado, if you guys like this, please make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below telling me that you do, and let's hop back into this. So as you guys can see, we're right where we left off last time at the old Dutchman mine. So I feel like I'm definitely supposed to go this way. But for some reason, I really want to go and try to kill every single one of those zombies on the highway over there. Where the pavement ends, the old west begins. The old mine, Sunnytown. This is going to attract all the zombies to my area. But I need to shoot this explosive barrel. Holy shit! That blew off half the sign. I honestly didn't expect it to do that. Alright, you're going down. Oh, hi, you're trying to get over the fence. Oh my god, holy shit, I didn't even give him the time of day. Poor dude, he didn't even get a land. All right, holy shit. They are a little farther away than I expected them to be. I don't know why, but I thought that explosive barrel might have done something. Oh my god, I am popping heads like watermelons. Hey, little guy, how are you? God, I think he's dead. I might have shot him a couple times, uh, may may maybe one or two extra bullets went into him, but uh, I think he's dead. Oh shit, more ammo. Hell yeah. I'm still worried that a zombie is going to be in one of these cars. I'm not going to be able to get that thought out of my head. One of these times, I'm going to open these doors and one of those motherfuckers is going to pop out and start biting my neck or something. Hello? Oh, oh. Huh. huh. The car belongs to the old Dutchman mine. Shit. So this yeah, car is locked. Stuff. Let's check it out. Hmm. It's locked. All right, I'm gonna need the key. Huh. It might be in the ticket office. I'm assuming the key is probably in there. This is a hideously painted vehicle, to be fair. I can totally understand why they abandoned this. Doesn't even matter if it's a zombie apocalypse. I would leave this car in a fucking heartbeat. Can I go into this van, though? Damn, can't go into the van. All right. Well, we have no reason to go up onto the highway yet, so I'm definitely not going to waste ammo that I don't need to waste. Holy shit, I almost threw a grenade. That wouldn't have been good at all. All right, let's see. Uh, let's check this trunk too while we're outside. Nice, two more magazines, hell yeah. All right, so let's keep going and see what we got for us Old in this Dutchman house. Mine, huh? huh? Underground tours. Huh? Well, at least underground means no sun. That is a good point. <sighs> let's do this. I wonder if I would be able to actually go underground on this tour. I'm, I'm a little scared, honestly. I. Don't really want to go into this house very much. What is this? Is this like a crank thingy? Like a like a pulley? Yeah, this is so funny. Cool. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything except make everybody know where I am now. Um. God, I do not want to go into this house. I do not even want to step foot in this place. Oh shit. Oh god. All right. Um. So far, no zombies. Oh, this is gonna get a little scary in here, isn't it? Oh, fuck me. I am not a fan of this anymore. All right, take all this ammo. All right, look up there. I don't see anybody. Oh, but I know one of them is gonna come. I know one of them is gonna come. I cannot let my guard down. I can't fall for this. I need to be better than this, but I do need to grab this rubber ducky. <laughs> God damn it. I was gonna say I grab that rubber ducky and then all of them come and swarm me. Are we okay? Is everything good here? Uh, should I turn on these faucets? Should I should I make sure that we got some running water? Um, okay, great. That's perfect. I am so glad that these faucets work. All right, now let me get the fuck out of this place. Can I walk around or do I need to stay inside? I was gonna say, cause I definitely wanna look around the outside of this building before I actually walk through it. See, I couldn't have gone through there anyway. Does this work? I want to call 911 and, and report these zombies to the police. They're, they're doing some crazy shit. Oh my god. Look at all those motherfuckers. They're having like a little zombie party up here. Hit! Hello, motherfuckers! Time to die! Holy shit, that actually almost killed me too. Jesus Christ. I should probably be a little more careful, you know? 
about the zombie apocalypse. Uh, Jesus, I shot that dude's limb. I guess I don't need to shoot them in the head. I know I said that the other time, but I guess this time I really mean it. Huh, what's in here? Holy shit, oh my god. Is this glass case already broken? Nice. Look at this bad boy. Hell fucking yeah. Now this will definitely come in handy. You know, maybe I can get used to this place. I'm, uh, I'm kind of liking it. I still haven't found the keys though, I just realized, which is an issue. Um, God, where the fuck would the keys be? Uh, I didn't go in this area yet. Let me check if there's some sort of control room upstairs, maybe like a base of operations of any kind. Nope, there's literally nothing up here. All right, well, I have no fucking clue where the keys would be. Um, we haven't checked the full deck yet. Nope, we totally have. All right, well, let's just go through here then. Um, all right, you're gonna make me step inside. That's fine. <laughs> cool, let's go down these stairs then. Um, holy shit, thank God there are no zombies in this area. That would have scared the fuck out of me. Um, hello? I don't trust this. Okay, cool, nobody's here. God, I was gonna say, trust no one. Check every fucking doorway. Check every alleyway. Oh, thank God this dude just has some patties in his fridge. This is dank. All right, let me just eat these real quick. Oh, shit, yeah. 100 HP. We are good to go. I just threw both of my grenades into the middle of nowhere trying to close this fucking fridge. Um, and that really sucks. I don't know where they are because they are not on the ground anymore. Well, we're out of grenade then. All right, are there any... Undead creatures in here? Anybody trying to get killed? All right, cool. It looks like we're safe. There's a lot of shit we need to open though. Oh my God, look at all these filing cabinets. Hello? I'm not gonna fall for this game. I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. You're not gonna be able to catch me off guard and scare me, not today. Thank God there's more ammo though. God, I keep thinking I hear shit. It sounds like there are people walking around me and I don't like it. Holy nice. shit, another nice. gun. Hell yeah. Alright, so now it looks like I have three guns. That's pretty sick. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. This is the best. There's so much ammo here. Anybody? Anybody here? Nope, we're good. Oh my god, this is awesome. Wait, I can't hold any more ammo. Fuck. This is nowhere near as awesome now. There's just so much of it, I can't even hold it all. All right, cool. Well, let's grab the key and get on with our day then, I guess, because I don't even need any more ammo. Can I open this thing? Nah. Can I mess with any of these electricity controls? Huh. I don't even know what any of these buttons do, honestly, but I just kind of want to hit them all. All right, well, let's go over here. Hello? Damn it. I never thought I'd open a drawer and say, God damn, more ammo. But there's nothing I can do with it. Is this a lighter? Nice. Hell yeah. Cool. Kind of want to go on this computer. Find out how the world went to shit, you know? I haven't really found too much out. Hell yeah. Don't forget your keys, Joe. Alright, cool. Well, I need to drop one of these weapons, so it's gonna be that one. I don't have any ammo for that guy, and you can stay there. I'm sorry to leave you behind like that, but you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Well, that's all we need from in here, so I guess I'll get the fuck out of this ominous area. God. Can I not even open that door? Of course I can't. Huh. All right, well, I could probably go through here, yeah? Yeah, I could. Cool, I probably should have just done that to begin with, you know, skip the whole theatrics of earlier. All right, well, let's keep going this way, see what else we got. See what's in this car, though. There's probably some sick loot in there, honestly. All right, so let's keep going and open this. Where's the unlock button? Yes. Nice. It still works. Let's cool. check it out. All right, so what else is in this car? Nothing. Okay. What over here? Nothing in the back. Is there anything in the trunk? Oh, Nothing in the. Oh, Holy oh, shit! Look at oh, motherfucker! Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, Fuck! Here they come. Oh god! Of course the fucking car alarm was gonna go off. Why the fuck wouldn't it have? Why would this game have done anything that was good for me? Like, just give me a car with a shit ton of free loot, Tim. Why the fuck did you expect anything like that without something going terribly fucking wrong? Holy shit. I probably should have taken out all the ones on the highway now, come to think of it. God, I just wanna hit that explosive barrel. Holy shit, guys, they're coming from fucking everywhere. Oh no, oh shit, this is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. I am fucking screwed. 
I threw all my grenades too. I threw all my fucking grenades. Oh my god, I don't even know where to go. I don't even know where to go. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Just keep moving. Just keep moving, Tim. Just keep moving. Out of ammo. Of course I'm fucking out of ammo. I know I'm out of ammo on that gun. God damn it. I'm not worried about that weapon. I'm only worried about my pistol. I only have one hand I can use right now. God damn it. No wonder that barrel didn't explode. It wasn't even an explosive barrel. Holy shit. I got this. I won't let you guys down. I won't go down this easy. I'm definitely not gonna go down without a fight for sure. Fuck you stupid zombies. Oh my God. Holy shit. There's so many of them. I could take out my other weapon. Yes, this has some ammo too. Holy shit. Dual wielding is not anywhere near as easy as they make it look in the movies. It's incredibly hard to aim efficiently while using both hands like that. And I have no ammo for this gun. Of course I don't. Why the fuck would I? Oh my god, just die. 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 Natural selection is kind of a bitch, guys, I know. But you're lower on the food chain and your boy's fucking hungry as shit. Oh my god. Let's see. Who else do we have to kill? Say my name! Say my name! <laughs> Holy shit! Nice. Hell yeah. Close call. Oh my god. Well, I can say that went a whole hell of a lot better than I expected it to. So that's a step. I'm not dead, but she is about to be. Oh, fuck. Can I go over here? Huh, this might be where I need to go. This might be where that piece I picked up fits in. All right, well, let's keep on going here. Where the pavement ends, the old west begins. The old mine. Huh. Insert oh, winch. Hell yeah. Well, let's cross this bridge and see what else this game has in store for us. I might have just beaten the second level, but I'm not too sure. Let's see. Oh, shit. There's a zombie. There's one lone zombie though. I can take on one at a time. Those are fun. They're peaceful. You can kind of fuck with them. Like, see, I can just shoot this girl's knee off. Doesn't even matter. Then I can blast her brains out. And it's totally casual until all the other motherfuckers decide to show up and ruin my party. This was a one-on-one -on -one session. I was showing your girlfriend over there how to die, and now I'm gonna have to show you guys a little earlier than I was anticipating. God, holy shit. There's so many of them. Die, motherfucker! <laughs> oh my god, I turned him into just a pile of limbs. That is pretty savage. God, I'm having so much fun with this game. This is great. Shit, man. That mine better be close. I think we're getting close to the mine. It feels like we're getting close to the mine. Hey, there's another door. I like these. Where's the thing? Cool. What's in store for us over here? I think that's all we got. All right, well, guys, it looks like that is all that is available in the beta. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below telling me that you did. And I will bring some more of this content to you guys. Like I said in the last video, Arizona Sunshine is seriously one of the most amazing experiences I have ever had with my HTC Vive. And I really thank you guys so much for watching this video. And while you're here, you've watched all the way through the outro. Once again, I really just want to say, guys, the best way to experience this is to buy a Vive yourself and check out the game on Steam. I know it's expensive. I know it's a big investment, but trust me when I say that the technology is more than worth the money. I was crazy when I first bought the Vive. I was like, I am a fucking idiot. I just spent $900 on a headset that I'm gonna play video games with. Like, what is this gonna do for me? And then I realized I'm not even necessarily paying for a piece of video game hardware or, or anything like that. I'm paying $900 for the ability to transport myself into new worlds, to experience stories in ways that I've never been able to experience before. And just this whole entire new medium of entertainment that I never would have thought of been, that I never would have even imagined would have been possible, especially this early. This is just a consumer headset in 2016. Like imagine where VR is going to be six years from now. So you really want to hop on the train and be an early adopter, trust me. But yeah, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much again to Vertigo and Jay Walkers for providing me with the beta of the game. I really do appreciate it, and I cannot wait for the full release of this. I'm sure you guys will be seeing some more of this either on this channel or on my Twitch. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.